What up, though? Man, listen, bad day today, right? Cut on the news, and I see five people dead, four cops, U.S. Marshals, and one, you know, one dude dead. Four, five more injured. Now, man, look, man. Let me tell you something about this shit. It's sad. Like, as much as I say I don't like the police and I got a problem with them, I don't want to see nobody die, man. And out of respect, I know these guys, the ones that care, the ones that that shit running their blood, their family, and they just becoming what their family was, and they really trying to make a difference in the community. Um, Them seem to be the ones that always get the ass into the stick. The dirty, robbing-ass motherfuckers, plant evidence motherfuckers, the shit talking dick suckers, they never get what they need coming to them. But you know, that's what I'm saying. Most good caring motherfuckers, that's like on the street the same thing. It's like the scurvy motherfuckers live way longer. You understand what I'm saying? So my, my condolences go out to everybody in this situation. You know, motherfucker come to work one day and gone, you know. So, but um, I'm going to tell you, man, with these no-knock warrants, a no knock warrant is uh a no knock warrant is one of the dangerous situations a police officer deal with, period. It has to be, besides traffic stop. And I think traffic stop comes second. You know what I'm saying? Traffic stops and motherfucking um no them no knock warrants is just dangerous, man. They started that shit for drug dealers, I believe. You know, they didn't want them to flush the, the dope down the toilet, so they 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 rush in and trying to, you know, hit them by surprise. But what happens is these drug dealers got enemies. They got ops, right? These motherfuckers out here rolling. They 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 got thousands and tens of thousands of dollars and you know merchandise in the house and shit. And they know how motherfuckers roll. They know that when a motherfucker come kick the door in, the first thing people do is is yell police. You know what I'm saying? So it's a it's like damn, what do you do? You know like. I don't, I can't sit in, you know, it's, it's other ways they need to do this shit in today's time. Like I say, nine times out of ten, if you're going to look for a person, that's definitely the wrong way to do it. Wait that motherfucker out. I don't understand. No, not warrants have had so many motherfuckers killed. Police and, listen, I'm going to tell you two stories right now. Let me tell you how fucked up no, not warrants is. Number one was the little girl. Um, her uncle or somebody, her, her her dad's best friend or brother, went and shot a motherfucker at the store. I don't know if he killed him or not, but he shot him, killed him. I don't know. But anyway, they knew where he lived at, and they knew he was there. So if you know all this, best thing to do is wait this motherfucker out all night. When you see him get in his car, rush him. You know, it ain't much a motherfucker can do in the car. You always got the advantage. That's why I say if you beefing with somebody, the worst place you can be is sitting in a fucking car. No matter how many guns you got, no matter what you got, if they come up behind that motherfucker, it ain't much you can do. And just sitting in the car, period, is dangerous. You know, you you a sitting duck, you know what I'm saying? You in a fishbowl, you know? So that's not good at all. So that's the way you should have went about it. But these motherfuckers knew that kids was in there because you've seen all the toys on the porch. They had toys, bikes, big wheels, balls, all that type of shit was outside, and you already did surveillance. So you know it was kids there, but one thing about it, they ain't give a fuck because they was young black kids. You know what I'm saying? I know. I know how they think. They don't give a fuck. Then they doing a TV show. It's like this motherfucker upstairs. Y'all y'all throw a flash grenade through the motherfucking window onto the little girl. The little girl, I don't even think she lived there. I think she was visiting there. And they threw the motherfucking flash grenade. She was sitting on the couch sleep. So they threw the flash grenade in on her. The flash grenade landed on the little girl. So when it blew up, boom, it burnt her. Real, it burnt her. It set, her, it set the couch on fire. When they went in the house, the couch was on fire. So you know, not only do you sitting in your sleep and you hear the window back break and that loud ass boom and you hurt, you don't know what's going on. And next thing you know, you hear people coming in the house screaming. And somehow the officer gun went off and shot the little girl in the head, man. Killed her dead. They tried to blame it on the grandma, all that. All that for a no knock warrant for an ignorant motherfucker. Now, the thing is, they're going to try to charge that man with everything that the police did. Like, if he in there for murder, they come looking for him and they... But on this one, I think they got the police, though. I think they... He was trying to lie and say the grandmama grabbed for the gun and all this. And every all the witnesses said, even his partners and shit was like, that was a lie. 
So, uh, but he got another situation in a no knock warrant. Uh, they was somewhere in Detroit, and they was like, a uh, motherfucker shot, killed somebody once again. And they said, well, we know where he at. You know, he be on such and such Evergreen Street, 15,000 something, because it was on Finkel. So it was like the 15, I still ride past that house to the day. And I think about that shit. I ride by damn near every day. He was like, man, listen, this motherfucker over there, this way he be at, this way he hang at, it's his cousin house, yada, yada, yada. Police go over there, no warrant, no nothing. Go to the house. I guess they think they don't need a warrant if they know a fugitive in there, right? They went over there, they kicked the door, same thing, no knock shit. And the dude who lived there, he's sitting on the couch, sleep, you know, watching TV or whatever. He got his pistol by the couch like most niggas do, right? You're going to sleep with your heat right there. So when they started kicking the door in, first thing he thinking is shit. I'm not I'm not in no trouble. I ain't did nothing. I live here by myself. What, what the fuck do anybody got to be kicking my door in? That's the first thing you thinking, like, what the fuck? Somebody on some bullshit. So he jumped up, grabbed his pistol. And so when they come in, they see him with his pistol in his hand. He didn't fire a shot. I guess by them yelling police, he was waiting to see, was it the police? So when they came in, they just seen the gun. They killed him dead. They never said nothing about that. And the motherfucker who they was looking for wasn't even there, hadn't even been there. You know what I'm saying? That's that no-knock warrant shit, man. And so now you see how I work on this end. You know how many police that have been killed? This no-knock warrant shit? It don't make no, what are, what are you doing that for? You know, half the time, like even with the puffy shit, look how they just went in there and dragged everybody out like they fucking criminals. Like what the fuck was they going to hide? You know, you should have addressed yourself like, look, the police out here, we got a warrant. You know what I'm saying? You knock, address yourself, then go in. Now, okay, nigga, I, I told, you know, you give them a certain amount of time. Okay, I'm going in there. Like what the fuck can he do within that little of time? You have to address yourself properly. They need to. Get away with that shit somehow. You know what I'm saying? That shit should be illegal anyway. Like, I, it's another story. A dude shot two police officers, one bullet, a shotgun shell. These motherfuckers parked down the street. They parked two doors down. This is how slick they want to be. They got a call hours, a day ago, I think. I think that the shit was over 24 hours. They got a call of a burglary, which his granddad, he lived across from his grandfather. So his grandfather stayed across the street. He stayed in his house. So I think he called for his granddad, and like hours later, it's 2, 4 in the morning, these motherfuckers go at the side window with flashlights. And uh, I guess the house looked vacant, so I guess they was trying to push the window up to look in the house. And when they did that, dog shot, boom, shot one time. And um, he, you know, first they was going to try to charge him with that shit, but he ended up beating it because they did. They First of all, why did you park two doors down? In an unmarked car, you park two doors down in an unmarked car. You being slick. See that they these motherfuckers don't. It's, and it's bad on both sides. I'm not just fighting the police for this shit, but sometimes they do dirty shit. Like I say, they come in, don't announce themselves. You know all this type of bullshit because they own bullshit. Whether they might want to rob or, you know, whatever that you know what I'm saying. Um, but get to the criminal. I just can't understand for the life of me. You only want it for a pistol, a felon in possession of a pistol. So they come in looking for you. You shoot it out with these motherfuckers when, you know, like, I can understand you for murder or some shit that can get me the death penalty of life. You going to shoot it out with these motherfuckers? You had to jump on. So you come outside and you want to die before you go to prison? And it ain't like you done a lot of time because you was only like 20-something years old. I think if I'm right, he was in his 20s. And But who am I to say? Nigga, some motherfuckers can't take six months, you know? So, But that's the type of people you dealing with. But to me, it just wasn't worth giving my life away, having a full-fledged shootout with the police. Then your homeboy came right behind you. Some of these motherfuckers don't need to be on the streets no way because if you're a motherfucker that shoot it out with the police... And yeah, yeah, get this motherfucker off the street for sure. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, God damn, nigga, is that serious? It's nothing but a gun charge, man. It, it shit, every, it shit can be beat every day. You know, you, you said, fuck it, I'm going, I'm going to die before I do these two years. Like, you know, five years. But who knows? Nowadays, they give a motherfucker so much time for these guns. I'm going to be honest with you and be real. You're going to see a lot more of this shit. It's going to be a lot more of this shit. Motherfuckers ain't doing all that time for that bullshit. 
Now, a motherfucker, even, even a motherfucker might, to be honest, a person might know, oh, I shot this motherfucker or killed this motherfucker. But, you know, that time, okay, add up. But this time right here, you giving motherfuckers 10 and 15 years for a pistol that they didn't use. And and that that law itself is strictly for niggas. It's strictly for black people. I don't want to hear all that in the comments. It's not a race thing. And that nigga, you a motherfucking lie. They know if you in the hood, nine times out of three out of four motherfuckers got a felony. After the age of 17, 18 years old, you a felon. That's why they put all that felon in the possession shit. Because y'all talk, you, look, first of all, you know you can't stop a criminal. So, you know, what you giving that much time for? What's the purpose? Have it ever worked? By you giving all that time away, is it stopping crime? So what are you doing by taking that much time off somebody's life for actually some shit that they have a right to bear? You have a right to bear firearms. It don't say under the Constitution shit about a felony. Do you understand what I'm saying? You have a right to bear firearms. And so that means once, if you, if, if I'm a convicted, and I, if I'm a convicted felon, which that need to be cut out the picture anyway, because if I did the time, I paid my debt to you. Right? The reason why you give motherfuckers time is, the, is, is, is look, you broke the law of the land, so we going to take time from you. It's like taking money for you for taxes. Okay, I took, they're going to take time or money. If you don't pay your taxes, what are they going to do? They're going to take time or money from you or both. But as soon as you pay your debt up, you straight. You back on, you back good, right? The same thing, if I commit a crime, what you going to take from me? Money and time, right? Once I do that time and pay whatever fees I got going on, I should all my rights should be restored. You know, they playing a dirty game but because they know that's why the drug laws, this fentanyl, it just, it just go on and on and on. The shit that they know that's wrong and they doing is wrong. Um, It's a lot of time. And I'm telling you, behind this shit is going to be way more shootings than this. It is, man. I hate to say it, dog, but motherfuckers out here ain't going to prison for no 10 years. Niggas already did 10 years, 20 years, and they out here living, and and, and you you keep talking about illegal fucking firearms, and why why do, why do these guys got illegal firearms? Read the fucking news every day. Watch the news. What the fuck do you mean why motherfuckers out here with guns? Every, every motherfucker you catch with a gun is not a criminal. They not a fucking criminal. You gotta have you gotta be strapped up around this motherfucker. All the carjacking and robberies they doing in these big cities. You know what I'm saying? How the fuck you gonna sit here and tell me I can't defend myself when you ain't doing shit but harassing me? So we gonna always have that problem, man, and we need to do something about these laws. That's what we have to do. You know, it's going to save a lot of people's lives. Like I say, when a motherfucker do something with the gun, if he robs somebody with it, send his ass to prison. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? But them seem the motherfuckers that you get a parole to and a probation to. You know, you, you slap motherfucking carjackers and violent offenders. Like, it's so many of these. The jail is so filled up with bullshitting ass. Of, the prisons are filled up with so many bullshitting ass um, offenders that when you get violent offenders, you can't even place them there. When motherfuckers shoot a motherfucker 10 times, he on fucking probation. He went and robbed and, and home invaded a motherfucking shot to him. Um, this nigga did two years. They got to let him go because of a nigga in there. They got caught with 20 pounds of marijuana. Y'all motherfuckers is asshole backwards out here. You know, like I said, that little girl. This I knew two, two cases of little black girls getting fucked with. And this is what I don't like. Two little cases of little black girls. The one girl, y'all, everybody know this motherfucker, that court member, that black nigga. I don't know if he a rapper or a court member. Whatever the fuck he was, he big in Atlanta. And I forgot his name. But this motherfucker was going, he had like a court-like following. And um, he was going with this chick. Maybe that was in South in the Carolinas too. Matter of fact, now I think about it. I think that was Carolina. It was either Carolina or Georgia. But he got with this chick just to fuck with her daughter. Her daughter was like 12, 15 years old, and he took her out, drugged her and raped her and beat her. And something they had to do with, like, he made her do something to an animal because they had him for bestiality, right? So she come home, daughter beat, raped, crying and shit. I don't know what was he thinking. 
like the, he was going to talk the mama into not pressing charges and throw her a couple of dollars, but the mama went straight to the police. And you would think you drugged and raped a young girl and the sodomized her and, and, and bestiality type shit going on. You would think he about to get 100 years, right? You know how much time they gave that motherfucker? Seven years. I just watched this not even an hour and a half ago. A motherfucking dude just parked his car a block over, walked to the bus stop, a little black girl at the bus stop. He grabbed her and was trying to take her back to his car in broad fucking daylight. This is how sick he was. The girl was holding on to the fence for dear life, and she fought her ass off. Man, I just wish I could meet her, man. That I mean, she needed an award because she fought that motherfucker off, and this motherfucker was a big, cocky, strong motherfucker. Could not get her. They found that nigga, right, with a transvestite, which was his girlfriend, with a transsexual caught him with the motherfucker at a Walmart or something because they knew the car. You know how much time they gave that nigga? They gave that nigga five years for kidnapping, bro, for attempted kidnapping. Five years and the shit is on tape. And, and it was just mind fucking blowing. But yet you telling me I get caught with a pistol that I didn't use, I ain't hurt nobody with, you pull me over in a traffic stop, I got license insurance and registration, but you still want to search my motherfucking car. You search the car, you find the pistol. I go to court. I'm a felon, felon in possession. You going to take me away from my, you think I deserve to be taken away from my family for five and 10 years, maybe 15, maybe a life sentence depending on you habitual. And I didn't do nothing with the motherfucker and I'm in my forties, but it don't matter my age. You can be young or whatever. You know, you know what it's like out here, man. You need to start cleaning people records up out here. Expungement. Like, y'all did that shit, but y'all did it for who y'all wanted to do it for. And I'm not stupid, man. This shit is a race thing. Because when you look at it, they did expungements. Ain't shit fall off my rec record. You know what I'm saying? They did expungements. Like, if your shit was so so old, they said over 500 or some thousand Michiganders was going to Get they shit expunged. You didn't have to call in. You didn't have to write in. Uh, none of that shit. They was doing certain felonies and misdemeanors. And I don't know a motherfucker that, a black motherfucker that got that shit done. They know they know exactly what they doing. I'm telling you, they know what they doing. When they did that, it was, it was for another race of people. Because they know these motherfuckers getting a lot of shit now. And people want to go hunting and different shit, and they, they want to fight for their rights. But let us, every, every time you talk about us in the neighborhoods, every time you talk about black people you, you, you or urban shit, you go with illegal guns. Anytime, when you say illegal guns, you think about the hood. Why in the fuck we, if you, listen, man, this, I'm going to say this and I'm going off this show because I know I'm jumping. Listen, you always saying in the inner cities, it's illegal guns. When why why are they illegal? Ask your question. Why is it so many illegal guns? When you can be 18 years old and go buy AR-15, a shotgun or whatever you want, right? You can turn 21 and go purchase a pistol and have a CPL. It's legal to do. You are like it's ill. See, it's illegal in the hood because y'all don't teach that type of shit. It's not pushed. But see, you know, like. How can I put it? So before a kid even get 18 years old, number one, he done been in trouble in the hood because the way it's set up out here. So you know that. You know that. You know that most of these motherfuckers are felons. Uh, and, and, you know, so y'all fuck is over, you know. So when a kid get 21, he can't get a firearm. But you know these kids out here nowadays, they y'all put so many illegal guns out here, you know they going to have one. That's why you that's why you fuck with everybody. That's why when you at the stores, you see these motherfuckers jump out, go to people's cars, illegal search them, all that shit. Because they know, hey, these young black boys, they gonna keep a strap on them. They gonna keep something on them. And so what I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm trying to think like now, suppose these guns were all legal. Like what was you know, what would you have then to say? Like, you know, I see police all day long harass motherfuckers and do illegal shit. 
They had see a dude with a gun poking out his side and actually jump out on him and ask him for a CPL. And niggas would give it to him. You don't have to get these dick suckers nothing. Get the fuck out my face. The fuck is you? You you have no right to ask me for nothing. If I'm not committing a crime with this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So if you got a pistol and then niggas catching cases. Motherfuckers will say, hey, you had your shirt. Your shirt was over the gun. And, 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 and he be like, this is an open carry state. But his fucking shirt made a mistake and go over the gun. Now they taking him to jail fucking with him but in reality bitch how did you even know how you know i don't got a cpl you had no fucking right to even come up on me about the bulge in my pants or the gun sticking out my pants who the fuck are you to ask me and it's to the michigan is an open carry cpl state so i don't give a fuck if you see a young nigga outside walking or with a bunch of people with a fucking clip a mile long hanging out his motherfucking pocket nigga stop you know what i'm saying the fuck? Now, now, now it's to the point where, listen, and I'm not saying don't nothing supposed Look, start locking up fucking criminals is what I'm saying. Start locking up motherfuckers that's doing the robberies and shooting. Not these, you know what I'm saying? Stop that shit, man. Y'all, y'all, cut it out, man. Do your fucking job. You know, to the police. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying, man. And they, like I say, rest in peace to the officers that 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 that, that, that passed away. At this point, Dog, we all facing the same shit. We got to start working together in some form or fashion. We can't be against each other this much. You know, blacks against blacks, blacks against whites, blacks against the police. We got too many enemies spread out, bro. We got to fix some of this shit, especially with ourselves. We start with ourselves, get our shit together. We can go a long way. Once we get our shit together, all the rest of the shit will fall in place. But them don't like warrants, they have to stop, man. It got to be a better way because that don't make no sense. Four people dead when all you had to do was wait this motherfucker out till he came out fucking side and got in the car. All you had to do was stop the goddamn car. It just don't make sense, man. But rest in peace to all the fallen officers. Sad, young dog, you know what I'm saying? I hate that he went out like that, man, over that. But some now y'all leaving us damn near no choice, man. Y'all giving too much time out for bullshit, and it's for no reason. You give a motherfuckers all day for dope that you brought here, guns that you put here, right? And and at the time, I can understand if it would change something. I can understand if you gave a motherfucker 20 years for selling cocaine, it stopped it in that neighborhood or it made any difference. You just gave a man 20 years for no fucking reason. It's not stopping nothing. It's not nothing. This little shit you call him with is not. But you just took 20 years out of this motherfucker's life. Y'all sent us us like we don't we not shit. Y'all give us fucking time like it's nothing. Motherfucker judge and it be the black dick suckers that do it. You know what I'm saying? It be a fucking black judge to do it. Give you 30 years and don't blink about that shit. You know, motherfuckers murdering motherfuckers. Y'all sit them bitches down and say, who can you tell that's selling dope? I'll cut your time off. You know, these carjacking motherfuckers, these thieving, violent motherfuckers, y'all ain't doing shit to them. But letting them back out. Nigga get caught with dope. Getting way more time than murder. Man, you, you, man, oh my. You get caught with a fucking pistol you didn't use. And you getting mur you getting time. Like you didn't, you know what I'm saying? You didn't fucking, motherfucking molesters out here. Getting five years for kidnapping and molesting little kids. And you giving a nigga who get caught with a gun didn't use them. Or get caught with an ounce of cocaine. Nigga, stop. Listen, if y'all want to stop something. Stop bringing the shit in. You know what I'm saying? Y'all keep fucking with us, dog. This shit going to keep happening over and over and over again. And I feel as though in a way it should because motherfuckers is tired of this, man. You know what I'm saying? God damn, man. Who the fuck want to go sit in prison all this time on this bullshit? So, yeah, we got to tighten it up, y'all. Trap Talk Blue YouTube. Hit that like, subscribe, and share, please.